Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson on something called the percent proportion. So we're going to do a couple problems together on this first page. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is the percent uh, proportion? Well, a proportion is basically, remember, two equal ratios. And this proportion is, is a type of proportion that can let, allow you to solve really any basic type of percent problem. So let's take a look at the actual proportion. So here we have percent over 100 equals the part over the base. Now I'm going to cross off the word base and write total. Or you could say whole as well. All right. So let me just kind of jump right in. We're actually we're going to set up a problem based on this proportion and then we'll solve for it. So the question says, what is 24% of 160? Well, the way you set up your proportion is the 100 is always, always, always going to be on the bottom right hand corner. So this is like set in stone. That's always going to be 100. And the percent always goes above the 100 because that's what percent is, right? Out of 100. So we know that it's 24%. So I'm going to put the 24 where it belongs right there. Now the question is, what is 24% of 160? So the 160 is the entire thing, right? That's the total. So that's going to go where the total is down here. So 160 is right here. And this is going to represent the unknown or the part. All right. So now that we have our proportion set up, okay, we can use what we know about proportions to solve for n, where we know that the cross products are equal, right? So I know that n times 100 is going to be 100n. And that's going to equal uh, 24 times 160, which is 3,840. 3,840. So now that we have our equation, now we can solve for n. So I'm going to divide both sides by 100 and divide this by 100. And these cancel out, right? So n is going to end up being uh, 3,840 divided by 100, which is 38.4. And there's your answer. All right. So as long as you put the right pieces into the proportion, um, you're going to solve it every single uh, time the same way by cross multiplying and then solving the, the equation. All right. Now, this one's a little bit different. Uh, this one is saying four is 15 percent of what number? So what they're saying is four is 15 percent of another number that's bigger. So again, let's set up our proportion. And again, we always know 100 is on the bottom right hand corner. And they gave us the percent, right? 15%. So 15 is going to go where the percent is, which is above the 100. But this time, the 4 is only the part, right? Because it says 4 is 15% of what number? So the 4 is going to go actually where the part is. And we want to know what the total is. So that's going to be the unknown, like this. So now we can cross multiply. So 15 times n is 15n. And that's going to equal 4 times 100 is 400. And now when I divide both sides by 15 and solve for n, 400 divided by 15 gives us an answer of 26 and 2 thirds. And there's your answer, okay? So 4 is 15% of 26 and 2 thirds. So this is a proportion you really need to become familiar with. Um, it allows you to really solve a, a wide variety of, of percent problems. So why don't you now pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do these practice problems. All right, so the first question is, what is 15% of 40? So we need to set up our proportion where the 100 is always here. And remember, the percent always goes above the 100, so it's 15%, so 15 goes here. And we want to know what 15% of 40 is. So 40 is the entire thing, or the base. So the 40 goes down here, and then the unknown is going to be the part. So now we can cross multiply and divide, right? So uh, 100 times n is 100n. And that's going to equal 40 times 15, which is 600. And now to solve for n, I'm going to divide both sides by 100. And we end up with n equals 6. So 15% of 40 is 6. All right, the second one you had to do was 8 
is 20% of what number, right? So again, I'm going to set the proportion and the 100 always goes right here. And I know the percent is 20, so that goes above the 100. But this time the eight, that's the part, right? Because eight is 20% of something that's bigger. So the eight is gonna go where the part is, and this is gonna be the unknown. So now to solve for n, I'm gonna write our equation. So 20 times n is 20n. And that's gonna equal eight times 100 is 800. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by 20, to solve for n. And 800 divided by 20, well, let's say I'm gonna cross off one set of zeros. So now it's 80 divided by two, which is 40. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?